record. Okay, I think we're recording. It is. <laughs> um, okay, hi. This is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring in Seattle, and I'm very inspired right now. I wanted to get on and do this video for my YouTube channel right away. I just had a therapeutic experience. I um, One of the things I do, I've been modeling for art classes and um, people who paint and draw and sculpt and photograph the model for many years. There's my cat walking by in the background. Kitty, kitty, kiss on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh boy. Oh, he's back there. Okay. For many years, for 29 years, I've been modeling for art classes. And um, since about 1998, I started working with um, medical students and um, counseling students. And what I just did was a therapeutic role play with some people training to be counselors and therapists. And I acted out a role of somebody, and I'm not going to say any personal private details of the character that I played, um, but I had to act out something that was very stressful and I was really depressed and the character I was playing was afraid to tell her family, um, the reality of what she was going through and she was isolating herself and, um, I just wanted to say that I feel so grateful and so blessed that there are people in the world that are massage therapists and healers and counselors and therapists who are helping. Um, there are some negative things happening in the world that I think are counterproductive to the mental and physical health of humans. And I'm not gonna say any specific details I will just say that I am so grateful to, from the bottom of my heart to the healers in the world and to the people that are helping facilitate personal growth and healing. Um, the improvisational dialogue that I just had, I worked with two different students and it was very, very different with each person. And I'm fascinated by how different each student I work with is. The same thing when I model for drawing and painting uh, artists, I, I am fascinated by, because sometimes they teach the person to, to paint or draw in a certain style and they sort of emulate the instructor, which is fine if you wanna do that style. But my favorite is, is a thing about life. I think in general, I appreciate the individuality of people who draw me as a model and paint me. And I appreciate medical students that I work with when I role play and how I'd feel different with each person. I'm very sensitive and I'm like a chameleon. And I feel like that's part of why I'm probably good at sort of acting role play with students because I pretend to be a patient and I act out parts and I feel like I truly do improvisational acting with uh, these students because I, the first student, um, I felt more serious with, and I wasn't really having a sense of humor because the character I was playing was going through a lot of anger and grief to the point where she like got through a temper tantrum and like, you know, threw a Kleenex box. And thankfully she was by herself. So she didn't have to feel embarrassed about freaking out in front of somebody else. Um, the first student, I felt like truly ashamed of my issues. Well, with the second student, I felt, although both students did well and had empathy and helpful things to say to me to try to help me improve my life. Um, the second student, I just was struck by how different I felt with the second student. There was more like I started laughing about my temper tantrum. I don't know why. Something about the way he reassured me and validated me. Um, helped me see my own temper tantrum from a different perspective. And so the reason why I'm doing this video is just to acknowledge that it is now November 19th, 2021. And I'm just struck by, I'm in a different mood every day. I'm one of these people that has been sensitive about that for my entire life. I remember being a little kid in San Diego in 1976. I was born in 1968. 
And I feel like I remember the first date I remember like writing in school, like my homework, you know, we would write our name and date on our little homework page, little notebook paper. And I remember writing 1976. I don't, and I was like, I was like eight, I was eight years old in 1976. I was still in San Diego where I was born and lived until I was nine with my mom and saw my dad on weekends because they were divorced. And I just remember writing 1976. That's the first year. I don't remember writing 1974 or 1975. I remember 1976 on writing in school. I love to write. And the student I just worked with suggested, both of them actually suggested I do journaling because I'm, I was playing somebody that had a hard time telling their family, honestly, what was happening with them. And they were embarrassed. I, I, my character was embarrassed and felt um, like hiding and isolating, which made me feel even worse. Um, so they were suggesting I write in a journal. And then he suggested I walk up a steep hill and leave my burdens at the top of the hill and forgive myself and then come back down. And it was very therapeutic like on a real level. Like sometimes when I role play with students, I play a character that's so different from the real me that it really feels like role play and acting. And then, although I am kind of a method actor, if you're going to call me an actor, I'm a method actor, meaning I play the character, what I do what the script says, but I put a little bit of the real me into it just to make it more real for me and the other person. And they gave me good feedback. They said I did a good job playing these roles because I definitely don't overact. I kind of, um, I'm more subtle, which I think is usually helpful unless I had to play a really dramatic role. So I guess I just wanted to acknowledge that I really appreciate the uniqueness of every person of every animal. I'm walking right now, I'm walking two dogs um, five days a week. And then I'm meeting somebody later today about taking care of her dog, but I haven't met her yet. And I'm also meeting another lady about taking care of her two dogs and one cat. And I'm fascinated. I've worked with five or six clients so far, a variety of dogs and cats. One of them was a dog and cat that lived together in a house and they go out in the backyard. And I'm struck by how unique every animal is, every dog, every cat. I'm struck by how unique every medical student I work with is, how unique every artist is. Like when they draw me and paint me, I love going around the room and seeing everybody's unique style of how they draw the model. So I guess I'm just grateful right now for and massage therapists. I was going to say the other day I had an amazing massage and I had a couple of massages before that, that I didn't like very much because the style just wasn't quite fitting with what I wanted. And so I really appreciate when you find somebody you click with a massage therapist. Um, so thank you to all the people in the world that are massage therapists and uh, people that are healers and people that are helping people um, heal and grow, whether it's uh, mental health or physical health. I really appreciate things that are truly helpful to people's health. And um, that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to go into detail because I don't want to like say anything really dramatic and controversial. Let's just say that uh, health, mental and physical health is one of my favorite things. And one of my priorities in life is to be physically and mentally as healthy as possible. And sometimes I contradict myself and do things that are not conducive to mental and physical health. Although mostly I'm very health oriented in terms of nutrition and exercise and sleep. And I don't drink or smoke. Not that there's anything wrong with people who drink or smoke. I personally don't drink or smoke. I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke cigarettes or marijuana. I just, I don't enjoy any of that. I never did even as a teenager. So I'm just so I'm inspired. I'm wearing this funny hat that my friend gave me. It's, it's fake fur. And um, I just love this hat. Um, so um, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm alive. And uh, I've been having a really hard time in some ways, but I'm happy that I'm starting to take care of people's dogs and cats and pet sit and house sit, dog walk, cat walk, house sit, et cetera, all that jazz. And um, I'm uh, open to uh, helping people during the holidays with their pets. I think that I have somebody scheduling me around the Christmas holiday, I'm still going to wait to see if that's uh, fully commit that I'm, you know, that that's fully going to happen or not. That's totally confirmed. 
Um, and then hopefully during the Thanksgiving holiday, I can help somebody with their pets. And if not, I'll go hang out with uh, some of my family who invited me. Um, so I'm looking forward to also there's 922 YouTube subscribers. If you like my YouTube channel, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me. Um, I'm trying to get at least a thousand subscribers. I've had my channel since 2005 and I'm at 922 right now. I would love to get it up to a thousand or more. That would be really great. Uh, according to YouTube, I can start earning money with my channel if I get a thousand or more. Although I don't really have a bunch of ads on my channel. I don't know how it fully works. So I have mixed feelings about it, but I'm open to uh, playing around with that and seeing how that goes. Uh, I want to keep my channel as authentic as possible and um, as kind of handmade and human as possible. I want my channel to be inspirational and upbeat, uh, but also honest and authentic. I don't want to be completely fake. Um, you have to be careful what you say these days about various topics that I won't mention, but I will just say that I want to try to share whatever authentic, inspiring messages that I can share in regards to my life and my art, uh, modeling, taking care of animals. Uh, my cat continues to do well. He's on a special uh, diet um, for cats and uh, he's on a raw meat diet that's nutritionally balanced for all life stages of a cat. I, I feed him very carefully and um, he's doing well. So I just wanted to say thank you for tuning in and subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you want. And even if you're not going to watch my videos, it helps if you just subscribe. <laughs> of course, I would like it if it was legitimately people subscribing because they want to watch my videos. But honestly, even if you're too busy and you don't have time to watch my videos, just subscribe and like my videos because it helps me do it for that reason. Um, <laughs> If, I, if it's okay to say that, because that's like honest, that's honest speak there. Um, Cause I know people are busy and they don't have time to sit around and watch videos all day. Although I subscribe to lots of YouTube channels. I have a tendency, I don't really watch a lot of uh, corporate media because it's just, it's too commercial for me. It's too much about um, advertising and marketing and kind of like sound bites that repeat over and over and over and over and over. And you hear the same information over and over and over. And what I like is I like to hear personal stories. I'm attracted to individuality. I'm attracted, maybe that's part of what it is to be an artist is being attracted to the individuality of animals, plants, people. Like every time I'm next to a tree, I, I consider each tree unique. Well, each tree really is unique in nature. Uh, literally, every tree is a little different. And every person and animal and plant is a little different. And so uh, I don't watch a lot of corporate media because it's kind of like uh, repetitive and kind of like cookie cutter content to some extent. Um, I like finding unique content and I like hearing people's personal stories. I like individuality and I like personal stories. Uh, I don't just consider them antidotal. I consider them fascinating. I consider them not homogenized, like pasteurized homogenized media is kind of boring to me and um, kind of creepy, actually, kind of fake and creepy. Uh, I don't like to say the word fake, but it just seems really phony baloney and kind of creepy and repetitive and not, not at all surprising or inspirational sometimes. So I appreciate, uh, I subscribe to lots of different YouTube channels um, on many different topics. And I especially love the people that live off grid and live in unusual homes and they share how they do it. And they share how they heat and cool their home in alternative ways. And people that travel and share interesting, unique stories about what it's like to live in other countries. And I'm inspired by people that have different points of view and share their personal story. And I learn from that and I get my intuitive sense of what I think the wisdom is of people sharing their stories. And that's more interesting to me than um, mass produced cookie cutter style, glossy, fancy schmancy, lots of camera lights and makeup. I like things that are more handmade than that. And um, music and art and personal philosophy. And uh, I, I really value people's individuality and creative, unique um, fingerprints, literally. So thanks for tuning in. This is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring in Seattle. You can support me on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. 
You can also go to my Flickr and there's over 7,000 artistic photos I've taken that you can publish for free under Creative Commons license. Sometimes I Google my name, Shannon Nicole Kringen or Goddess Kring, and I see photos of mine from Flickr that have been published all over the place. Um, I've had photos of mine published on the Bill Moyers website, on the NPR website, on BuzzFeed, on lots of different websites. I'm very proud of that. I would love to build upon that, get more of my photos published. Uh, I would love to find more multiple streams of income, being an entrepreneur that I am as Goddess Kring. And I already do have different ways that I make a living with uh, medical students and art art students and um, taking care of animals. And maybe I can start taking care of plants. I even thought about working on a regenerative uh, agriculture farm, uh, which is a step above organic. It's, it's really, really natural. The place I love the most is called White Oak Pastures. It's in Bluffton, Georgia. They're doing amazing things with their regenerative farming practices. And it's amazing. And I really, uh, uh, making sure the soil is healthy is so beneficial to the earth. And I really love and admire that people who do that kind of work. Uh, I used to have a worm bin years ago. I miss it. I don't live in a place now where I have a garden in my backyard, but I used to, and I had my own worm bin and it was fun to look at the worms every day and feed them a compost and watch them create amazing soil that's really healthy and, and full of all kinds of micronutrients and uh, microbes and um, all of the natural stuff you find in healthy soil is pretty fascinating. Uh, okay, thanks for listening. So subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna share a video almost, uh, lately it's been almost every day that I make a new video. It's kind of fun. And um, I update my Patreon quite a bit as well. And thank you for listening. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. I hope that this is inspirational to you in some way or entertaining to you in some way. Although I can only be myself. I don't have any control of how you view me, um, but I'm doing my best to try to contribute something that I believe in. So thanks for being here. And follow your, follow your heart, follow your bliss, do what you love, follow your dreams, believe in yourself, go for it. That's what this... Uh, this student helped me feel like uplifted and like hopeful that I could solve my problems, which the character I was playing had a lot of problems she needed to solve. And I actually translated what he said to me and it was helpful for me in my real life, which is like, okay, that, that student was a very talented, um, counseling student. I think he's got some real natural, um, and the, the other student I work with is also talented. She just had a very different style and, Honestly, I clicked more with the second student I worked with, um, but they both did a good job and I'm honored to work with students in this way, but it's good for me to learn the contrast of, of what clicks and what doesn't quite click and what the pros and cons are. And I'm still trying to figure out what I need and I'm fascinated of what I need as a human. I'm fascinated by improvisational dialogues with people. Um, fascinating. So maybe I could do more of that. I sometimes think on my YouTube channel, I could invite somebody on and have an interesting conversation, but I'm not sure who I would invite and who, what would, what would we talk about that wouldn't get us in trouble? I don't want to cause drama. Uh, it's pretty easy to, to get, you know, conflict and drama happening these days. And, um, I don't want to do that, but if something positive and inspirational and uplifting, that would be good. Okay. Bye for now. Bye-bye.